Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. The focus of today's video is jobs. Getting you a job this year. Do you want to get a devil's job this year? You want to watch this video to the end for some insider tips which I'll be sharing with you that can help you in your job search journey this year. And why not, if you're interested in our content, why not hit the like button, hit the share and subscribe to our YouTube channel because every week I do a lot of videos around DevOps and interview preparation that will help you to become a successful DevOps professional. What are those insider tips or what are those things which you must do if you want to land yourself a DevOps job this year? The first thing I'll share with you is to have a broad knowledge around DevOps. Have a very broad knowledge around the DevOps practice. DevOps is a practice and DevOps being a practice, there are a lot of things which you must know. Ranging from continuous integration to continuous deployment, microservices, infrastructure as code, monitoring and evaluation, communication and collaboration and a whole lot. So there are a lot of tools which you must have a broad knowledge on. And with this very broad knowledge on DevOps, you should be able to have the right motivation to get yourself a job this year. Maybe you've actually studied DevOps in a particular cloud style like Amazon Web Service or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. With a broad knowledge in one cloud technology, you can easily gain mastery of another cloud and that in itself will give you the right motivation or will give you an upper hand during interviews so have a very broad knowledge around devops as a practice have a broad knowledge on some of the key DevOps tools that are being used and that way you'll be sure to secure a job this year the second thing i want to share with you is do a lot of hands-on do a lot of hands-on there are a lot of projects available in multiple platforms for microsoft azure for amazon web service for google cloud a whole lot of projects and all these projects gives you the possibility to understand the concepts there are projects around terraform projects around ansible around docker around kubernetes do a lot of hands-on there is no way you can get a devops job without the hands-on experience because the hands-on experience will give you a good conversation during your technical or during your bureau interviews and with this hands-on experience you can effectively work with recruiters and even when you get the job you can effectively stay longer in the job because it's not just about getting a devops job but it's actually keeping that job to the end so you need to do a lot of hands-on projects i have a special bootcamp which i'll be running eight devops projects in eight weeks so you want to check the video description to get yourself part of this bootcamp and get yourself of skill with the lots of hands-on projects which you have in this particular bootcamp so do a lot of hands-on if you want to actually land yourself a dream job this year the third thing i'll share with you is when applying for jobs maybe on linkedin on dice on indeed or whatever the case might be you must do a lot of analysis on all job descriptions not just for the particular job you must be able to have a detailed analysis of your job or of the job description which you're applying for now what happens is a lot of people go on linkedin and they just go they find thousands of jobs being posted every day and they just click apply 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 without spending the necessary time to even understand the dynamics of the industry there are a lot of new roles that are coming up companies are changing their requirements at a very drastic speed there are companies now that maybe are focusing more on, on automation some are focusing more on microservices so you want to take your time to study these job descriptions and know what the industry trend is assuming you're currently interviewing i would personally recommend that you go through a job search platform maybe linkedin or dice and you take 100 jobs that have been posted of those 100 jobs that have been posted, do the needful study to analyze or to pick out the skills. Maybe if this particular job requires AWS expertise, or this particular job requires Azure, this particular job requires GitHub, this particular job requires Terraform, and so on. Pick out all those skills that are required in most of the job postings. And now once you can pick out all these skills, if you're going to a bootcamp and they're not able to cover some of those technologies, do yourself due diligence to do a lot of research around these technologies. I shared in one of my previous videos that for you to actually learn DevOps faster, you must have the habit of continuous learning. You must be in a continuous pursuit for knowledge in the DevOps and cloud space. So once you're doing a lot of hands-on across multiple technologies in the DevOps space, you find yourself that during technical interviews, you won't stutter. You actually give out the experience like you are one head of a profession so do yourself due diligence to do a lot of hands-on and equally spend a lot of time analyzing job descriptions and before every job make sure you actually understand the job description some people get these interviews from recruiters and they are wondering why after a particular round of interview there are no callbacks 
because you did not give the recruiter the value which you were seeking out for when interviewing you. If you're actually going to give the recruiter the right value which they require during your technical interview or during your phone call interview, there is no way those recruiters won't reach out to you. So do a lot of research, do a lot of this hands-on, and you'll be able to meet some of the job descriptions which you find in these job search platforms. Now, the first tip I'll share with you is do a lot of interview preparation. I tell people, learning DevOps is a skill, or learning the DevOps technologies, they are all skills. Interviewing as well is a skill and you need to build yourself competence in taking interviews. You cannot underestimate the importance of knowing how to take an interview. By the way, there's this platform with a link in the description, WonderPrep, that has a lot of resources that you can use to study or to prepare for your next interview. You want to check the link in the video description to know more about interview preparation with WonderPrep. So if you're preparing for your next DevOps interview, maybe site reliability engineer, cloud cloud engineer, solutions architect, DevOps engineer, DevSecOps engineer. There are a lot of resources for you to use in this platform. So visit WonderPrep and go through their Tell Me About Yourself templates. Also, maybe a recruiter has reached out to you and I'm wondering some of the questions which those recruiters can ask you. Some of those questions are found in WonderPrep. So do yourself due diligence to create an account on WonderPrep and explore a vast majority of the resources which they have for interview preparation. And lastly, do a lot of projects do a lot of projects be made of projects in fact you should have a very very big repository of projects there is no way you get a devops job without being a professional currently there are a lot of devops jobs there are a lot of professionals but it takes the best of the best to get the jobs so why will you not take out the time to do some of these devops projects if I were you, every day I set on myself to do a particular DevOps project. And the problem which, and the mistake which some people do is while doing DevOps project, they don't understand the thought process or the requirement of that particular project. When you pick a particular project, understand what is the end goal for this project. Don't just go to your AWS console or to your Azure portal and you're just creating resources out of the blues. What is the goal? What are they trying to achieve? How does this add value to a company? For each project you're doing, try to identify all those key points. How does this project add value to a particular team or how does this project enforce the DevOps practice? Once you're able to pinpoint all those key components, you find yourself actually understanding these technologies. So while doing a lot of these DevOps projects, understand the fundamentals. What are the requirements of this particular project which we are setting up? And also, I recommend people to build a good project portfolio. If you're actually doing a lot of these projects and some recruiters will definitely ask you your experience on past projects or your experience with certain projects, you also want to share them your experience through a portfolio which you have a personalized portfolio. And also in WonderPrep, the application which I mentioned to you, you can also set out a project portfolio. So do well to create an account on that platform, have a lot of these projects, immediately complete a particular project, go to the platform, document your project, copy your portfolio link and share with the recruiters or you can add that in your resume such that the moment someone is about to recruit so that such that the moment someone is about to interview you the person already has an idea of some of the projects which you've already worked so they don't necessarily need to ask you what projects that you worked on all those projects will be found in your project portfolio link in wonder prep so do yourself well to follow some of these tips first like i mentioned have a very broad knowledge on devops secondly do a lot of hands-on projects and don't forget to join my eight weeks eight projects bootcamp that is currently running and also analyze job descriptions to understand the trend analyze a lot of these job descriptions to understand the current devops trend and why not go on to do good interview preparation if you want to get yourself the interview do a lot of interview preparation and lastly do these projects and guess what if you're having issues doing particular projects do not be discouraged because the moment you try to do a project and you do not succeed that alone is troubleshooting experience the troubleshooting experience is also what is required in interviews or is also what is required on the job so some people actually try to give up after they've tried to do a particular project and it's not going do not give up do those projects even if those projects don't move to the end like i mentioned understand the thought process behind the project troubleshoot to the best of your ability and then document that project and you find yourself able and ready for your next devops job if you found this video helpful and you're not yet subscribed hit the subscribe button right away like this video if you want me to do anything that will be of help to you leave that in the comment section and why not see you in my next video